everybody, it's ALB in Whisperland, and as a special treat, today I'm going to be doing another chalk drawing video, because you guys liked the last one so much, and I thought, wouldn't it be fun to do another one? <laughs> so this is really cool. You may remember from my last video that we used the special chalk markers called Chocola. Well, Chocola sent me another um, set of their markers, but you might notice that they're a little bit different. This is the Platinum series, and they're a thicker marker, and that's really the only difference, um, is the size of the actual felt tip is a little different. And obviously the colors are different. You may remember that there was a black in the last one, and there's not in this one. These markers are much bigger. And I think they have possibly more ink, but the actual marker itself has is, is a bigger size. So, yeah. And um, the really cool thing is, too, that um, if you like these markers, Chocola gave me a discount code. Um, for you guys to use, and that'll be in the description for you to check out. <laughs> so, for this video, I'm gonna do a drawing using these markers, so the video will have lots of fun drawing and chalk sounds. Let's get started. see it in the bottom and get to mix it up. We're definitely going to use the white. That might want to roll away. There. <laughs> and orange and purple. Probably some other colors too, but we're gonna only, mostly start with these ones. <laughs> I think I might actually start the sketch with the... Mm, let's start with purple. Just to kind of get a feel for things. Just move a box up there. So, I remember... Oh, I got a little ink on myself. I remember um, on my last video, a lot of you were commenting, asking about the setup that I'm doing these videos in for the chalk. So I just want to tell you a little bit. <laughs> so this is um, a hardwood tabletop, and it's um, just one of the IKEA ones that I separated, and it's now, I'm just using the tabletop part. And then I have my camera up above on my tripod so that you can see directly down to what I'm doing. And um, you guys are kind of on the side of me in terms of the okay. So I had a thought. Which was, I thought it would be fun to do a little drawing um, sorry, I'm just kind of thinking of how I'm going to do this. It's hard with the black because everything shows up really well. There's not really a lot of room for mistakes here. So, probably a lot of you are fans of Star Wars. And, um, you, I'm sure, are excited about the new movie. And I thought, wouldn't it be really neat if we did a little Star Wars drawing? To just kind of get a little excited. 
excited about that. <laughs> Just laying in some plants here. And um, I'm probably going to, with Windex, wipe away anything that I don't really like. So, I really think that the new BB-8 is like really cute. <laughs> and I know a lot of you guys love it too. I thought it would be such a neat thing to draw. <laughs> is it starting to look like anything yet? Maybe not. I don't know. Thinking of how I'm gonna lay stuff in. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do some erasing with Windex after. Because this is on black, there's not really a lot of room for mistakes. And I need room to make mistakes, because I make mistakes a lot. <laughs> Life is all about making mistakes. That's okay. That's how we learn. If we didn't make mistakes, we wouldn't learn anything. We won't get any better. Is it starting to look like something now? I think a little bit. The tips on these? Mm. You can probably tell they're quite thick. So... To do tiny details is a little bit difficult, but we'll make it work. <laughs> and Do a little sparkle up there. <laughs> She's kind of saying hi. Do you know who this is? Or who it's going to be anyway? It's the new character named Ray. She looks so cool in the trailer. And I just thought, oh, I just have to. She has her hair all slipped back in a ponytail. And then she has these cute little pieces that fly out. And she also has a ponytail back here. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Put the lid on that for a second. I'm gonna fold a piece of paper towel. Put a little Windex on it. This is all going to get colored in anyway, so it's no big deal. <sighs> okay. 
kind of like how the index gives that kind of messy faded look anyway. So you guys can probably just imagine um, when I, because of course I don't really go into these videos blind, I do just play around with the markers and whatever just to kind of get a feel and uh, just trying to clean it after I was done was always <laughs> not really like a nightmare or anything but like it was never fun I never wanted to erase my masterpiece I've got a pink here Ray doesn't seem um, particularly girly or anything, at least from what we've seen in the trailer, but just from an artistic kind of perspective, I wanted to give her some, just a little eyelash and some pink lips. So the key with chalkboard art is using your black as negative space and remembering that you can't like draw in any of the lines you have to imagine where they would be markers to begin with. I was drawing this little puppy character I've been drawing a lot lately. And if you follow me on Instagram, you might have already seen her. Because I've just been having fun with her. Maybe I'll do a little doodle video with her. She's a little cavalier Charles Spaniel, and her name is Crumpet, and originally she started as kind of like a, not like a self-portrait, but just this character that I drew all the time, because um, I wanted to just express an emotion, it's, I didn't want to draw myself. then I'd get too into like what is it supposed to look like um it needing it to look like me but when you're drawing just a little character you can be expressive with it and you don't have to be thinking like does this look like who it's supposed to be does that make sense I don't know but anyway um, so yeah, I've been drawing this little puppy character a lot. She's been kind of like seeping into my art. And um, yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with her just yet. Something fun. I had an idea that I would make holiday cards this year. I might do it. So you can see this is like starting to take shape a little bit. Chalk markers are like super fun. I've been really enjoying using them. Because they kind of make you think outside of your box, I guess. Well, at least outside of my box. I'm like Whenever I want to do art, I'm like, bring me my watercolor paints. But, um, using something like this 
for even, I think you could, it's comparable to doing work with pastel on chalk, um, on black paper. Just any situation where you're forced to use your space a little differently. Makes you really have to think. So, you guys might find this a little funny and surprising, probably. I have never seen Star Wars. And I know, like, how have I not? I don't know. When I was growing up, um, like, my family's pretty into all kinds of just fun, nerdy things. But, like, my house was a very fantasy-based household, if that makes any sense. Look at this, I have paint on. Or not paint, marker on my finger. <laughs> that is so me. But, um... So, my house was, like, we really liked Lord of the Rings a lot, and because of that, I, I never watched, really, like, Star Trek or anything like that until adulthood, because that's just not what we grew up with, you know? Um, I think I mentioned in a previous video that I just started watching um, Star Trek TNG recently, and I've been really enjoying it a lot. Um, but it was never something I grew up with, and I had never seen I've never seen Star Wars. <laughs> but you know what it is for me is um, so many of my friends are just so excited about this movie, and and I know so many of you are too, and. I just love when people are happy about something, something new and exciting that makes them feel good. It makes me feel good, you know, even if I don't really like, or not that I don't like that thing, but if it's not like a thing that I'm personally excited about, it's, it's, you know, I don't need to be. I'm just happy that they're excited about something new and good. It makes me feel good that they're happy. So I wanted to do kind of like a little something to show how excited I am for all of the fans. And also, I think that I'm going to really need to watch Star Wars. It's almost one of those things now that because I've been putting it off so long, it has to be really special. And it will be. Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do her hair purple or orange. Probably purple. Because I think if I did it in orange, it would look just a little bit funny. So with these markers, um, you just have to pump them a little bit if the ink seems to be getting like a little bit dry because there's all this ink inside the barrel. I fixed up this eye a little bit. <laughs> Sounds like the scratchy scratchy. Okay. 
Definition there. <laughs> I wish I had a brown. I had a, a brown in the other kit. But I am back in New Jersey now. <laughs> and my other kit is back home in Canada. So we're just using this one today. markers are fun because you can like layer them, which is neat. Okay, let's do the BB-8. <laughs> I think that the white is going to be key, but also the orange. And, but I think, hmm, I think we should do the white part first, just so that it doesn't bleed. There's <sighs> like a little, a little speckle of color. So he's got some like optic lenses here that we're going to want to leave in black. Like this. And then he's got another one down here. And then Kind of this part is in white. And then there's like an orange stripe right there. And there's a black stripe and then some white here. It comes around like this. Have you guys seen the um toys they made of this guy. Oh my god, they're so cute. I watched a video of a cat playing with one. It's like the cutest thing. It makes me want to get one just for the cats to play with. Because it's so precious. So there should be a design bit here. And then, it's the same on this side, so there's going to be an orange bit that comes down like that. And then it comes around there. And then this part here is white. There's a little purple mixed in there. <laughs> That's okay, because we have to put some purple in there too, probably. Can you guys tell how much like paint these are? I think they're chalk markers, but they're also paint markers. <laughs> they remind me a lot of, um, you know, like graffiti taggers. They use these types of um, markers that are oil paint based. You can get those at like craft stores and stuff, but they have like a really high staying power. And they look kind of 
I don't like this actually. Just down like that. And then this. With all my friends, I saw there was like a really big struggle to get tickets for The Force Awakens already. I couldn't believe it. I was like, that movie comes out in December. Like, people are already getting tickets, but it's a big deal. Like, the series is a really big deal. And it's cool because, you know, so many people who were kids when the first couple movies came out they have kids now and they can share that with their kids that's so neat isn't it it's like something they can share with their kids too mm. <laughs> now I'm just seeing that I want to put some highlights on my hair I just wanted that part to be really white. <laughs> It's kind of like a gray, but then there's like this orange that comes in here. Like this. And then it comes around the other side like this. <laughs> and then there's like these square bits that are like boop, 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 boop. <laughs> and on this side. The booping sounds help, I swear. And then... This is a whole lot of orange in here. in on these parts right here. like anything before but it kind of didn't look like anything <laughs> okay so I'm gonna use actually and I wasn't planning to use this but I'm going to use the yellow for her shirt because it's kind of like um, a tan color and um, you know we're using mostly you know primary colors so I just like that little tick, tick, tick sound it makes. Tick, tick, tick. I don't know. I like it. <laughs> she has this kind of like layered um, shirt. It's really pretty and interesting. Just 
tuck it in like this. I'm gonna have to go over some details with the purple again, but that's okay. It's hard when the brush tip is so thick to make tiny close little details. <laughs> move this a little bit so that you guys can see a better angle. I'm going to use this baby blue now and do some little details in the BB-8. So. Like this. Just to add a little extra something. So there's kind of like a little sparkle around the rim. Should be a little shine like that. And then same thing here. And then just to really highlight this curve. Same on this side, too. There. <laughs> now I'm going to use the purple just to kind of emphasize a couple of lines. like when the chalk markers mix a little bit like you may have noticed the purple picked up a little bit of the white but I actually really like how that looks to me it looks really unique just like that and around the side too Here, detail. Just like that. Cute little ears.
work in here. Now maybe that might look good with green. Let's do green. Just to use all the colors. I know her shirt isn't actually green, but suspend your disbelief a little bit. It's art. <laughs> That's what we'll say. We'll say it's art. You can't be mad about art, right? Maybe you can. I don't know. And then her skin comes up like that. Mm-hmm. like that. And I want to do some sparkles, I think. And I'll just add a little more purple. It's an ongoing process, isn't it? But art is like life and you're always noticing little things that can be improved. That's just how it goes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the actress who is portraying Ray is so pretty. She looks so nice in her costume. It seems like there's a bunch of really great actors in this one. It's so cool. And I'm just gonna. This is the palm in here, of course. Here it comes to almost touched the paint. <laughs> I'm almost covered in paint. That's just my destiny. And then this is kind of the wrist joint in here. Sparkles, sparkles, sparkles. Sparkles are a very important part of life, I've decided. That's just how I feel. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. So there's a lot of different ways that you can show sparkles in something. You can do something like that. Or you can do one of these guys. That's a nice sparkle. Or you can just do a little dot. Or a little cross. And when you do a lot of them, they really do start looking like sparkles. <laughs> Sometimes I do a little circle like that, like a bubble. He is doing a lot of different kinds, and then they really do start to look like sparkles. Especially when they're all grouped together. I'll do two circles like that. Sparkle down here. I like to think this guy's having fun. He's like, yeah, draw me. I'm cute. Little heart. So 
sorry, get a little carried away with the sparkles. They're the most fun part for sure. What if we give her a little... Oh. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, that's right, I'm still noticing things that can be fixed. <laughs> just who I am, you guys. It never stops. I'm just going to give her a little eye highlight, too. So, um, because this is an interesting fact. If you, um, have a photo or a drawing of someone and there's no shines from anything in their eyes, it can make them look not real, not like a real person, because... Anytime there's ever a light source anywhere, it does reflect in our eyes. So, <laughs> just fun trivia for you. So, in your art, depending on where the light source is, it doesn't, this is cartoony, so it's not as important, but in your art, it's really important to, even if it's just really small, do some highlights in your eye of the person or character you're drawing. It gives them gives them a reality, because no matter where we are, even in a dimly lit room with just a candle, there would still be a reflection on, on our eyes. <laughs> that is something I learned in photography class, <laughs> which is super goofy, but you know, there's just some things that you just can never forget your professor saying. That's one of those things. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed another art video. <laughs> and this one's celebrating the new Star Wars movie with Ray and BB-8. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.